It is time for the annual Southern Utah Bass Fishing Adventure Year 4. You guys ready? Are you ready? Oh heck yeah. Am I ready? I sure hope so. <laughs> I like that camera. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh no, good thing <laughs> Good thing you found those. Okay, so I guess it's in focus. What's going on guys? I am here with Adam. Oh and look, it's James too. Guest appearance. <laughs> Guest appearance. But Adam, why are we at your parents' house? Because Ty needs a place to park his car when we go down to Santa Paula. And Quail Creek. Quail, that's right guys, it is time for the annual Southern Utah Bass Fishing Adventure Year 4. Tradition now. It's a tradition, we're going every year for the rest of our lives until we can't fish anymore. And, and at that point we'll die. Exactly. So we're taking all this stuff from my car and we're going to throw it in Adam's car. And then, what do we have to do after that? We have to run somewhere, don't we? Uh, gas and then sportsman's. That's right, because we need to get a couple things. Yep. Okay, we are leaving. Heck yeah. We're, we're leaving, guys. We're about to head to Sportsman's, right? Uh, gas and Sportsman. Gas and Sportsman. Look at this nerd. What a nerd this guy is. Look at this nerd. What's up? At least he's wearing his mask, though. Okay, Adam. What did we get at Sportsman's? Whopper ploppers, drop shot weights, and some hooks. Yep, I got him a whopper plopper and I got me a new whopper plopper. A 130. We both got 130s. It's incredible. It's going to be lit. Because we are officially headed, finally, to Southern Utah. Mm -hmm. To Quail. We're going to Quail! You guys ready? Are you ready? Oh, heck yeah. Am I ready? I sure hope so. Woo! Yeah! Adam, how are things going? Good. Um, I think I'm in focus, I hope. Anyways, we are at mile marker 73, and our exit is 23, so we are 40, no, 50. 50 miles away from the exit to get to Quail. So, we've been driving for almost three hours, so I'd say we got four. Non stop, except for we had to stop to fix. We had to fix the wood on the roof because we could hear something flapping. Well, I will pick this up again when we are really close to the lake so you guys can get a first look view when we pull up. No charcoal, no wood. Propane st I literally. Look at this. My stove at home. Do you guys see this crap? Because I was like. I don't We're at a fire restriction. Fire we can't use this. We can't use that. That is firewood up there. We legit can't use anything, but there's the lake. You guys get to see it, but we're a little pissed off because I brought freaking for dinner is our freaking wieners, and we can't cook them because the gas stoves, but we don't have one. And it didn't say online. It literally said nothing online. Are you okay with um <laughs> cold hot dogs? This sucks. This sucks. 
We might ask, we might we might ask around and see if someone else has a gas stove and be like, "Yo, can we cook our hot dogs on your gas stove?" Okay, so we have our tent set up right here. Me? I don't think so. I think I'm good. Um, well, maybe we should get some water real quick. Yeah, we're about to go fishing. Let me show you this whopper flopper real quick before I grab some water. Look at that. So that's comparison to my hand. That thing is huge. See how this goes. There's a giant whopper flopper. Oh, wow, that thing is huge. <laughs> need to up everything. That thing is ridiculous. This is gonna suck on this chop though. It's just way too windy. We'll just have to wait it out. Cause it's way too windy. Okay, hey guys. Um, look what we're getting. Where's the stove? We got, we're actually getting a camp stove so that we can actually cook our food tonight. There's no fire. No fires. So that's what we're gonna do. Cooking with Adam Deem. Okay, so we're just putting on the camp stove. What we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna take off, oh, that's probably okay there. So tight, you want it tight. tight? Unless this is all the way open, but we'll find out. <laughs> Twist around, my friend. Sorry. Oh, does it not fit? No. Are you f Box and try screen Oh, yeah, so, um, we ran into a problem. That don't fit. We messed up. So it looks like we're having sandwiches tonight. <laughs> and whatever else we can find. They're Starburst. And Starburst, yep. Yeah, we're just gonna eat. Wait for this wind out there to dive down, die down a bit more. Cause uh, it's way too windy out there for top water. It's in the, oh no, do you have your light? Yeah, it's in my backpack. Hold on. I'll get my light. Can get your camera out? Look at that. He got one, guys! On a freaking whopper popper. He did it! Okay. He did it! Oh, crap. He did it! Woo! Okay, yeah, we'll just, we'll just... We're here. With our artificial light lit in campsite. With bugs zooming around our ears. Oh, for sure. It's bad. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rig up for tomorrow. To start, like, I'm using this 110 whopper popper right here. So this is like a purge color. Um, and I have it on my yeah, medium heavy action or fast action rod. I just have a little J spec tied on. This is a rainbow, this is a glimmer trout, I think, or natural trout color, because there's rainbow trout in here. They stock them, and so it's going to be a forge. Like, this should match the hatch, so to speak. <laughs> glass in here. And then, um, this one, I have a little Ned rig um, set up here. This is just with a blue, like a jitterbug sort of color. Um, Senko that I just basically bit into like a third or a fourth and uh, it's just like it's a little long like a short just barely longer than the hook um, but with it's just going to stand and hop along so you know just I'm trying everything from top water to mid range to like bottom trying to find where the fish are at so so on this brand new rod that I have it's a, a Fluger rod 6.6 six, medium action um, I have a drop shot tied on have it about maybe about 10 inches from the hook and how, how big were these weights again like one fourth one fourth ounce ball weight abu garcia it's a uh, six foot six medium action pretty nice and i have a deep diving storm ah, storm crankbait right there it should dive about probably like i'd estimate probably 15 to 20 feet down so that's pretty good. The crankbait, last time I came here to use and used a crankbait last year, killed it. I caught probably like six fish on a crankbait. On our big old, the rod here is an Ab, another Abu Garcia. It's a seven foot six heavy fast, really big. And then the reel is a um, Shimano. Gear ratio, I believe is seven to one gear ratio, yes. And we have on a smaller whopper flopper than what I was using today, like half the size. That's what we're gonna be using tomorrow morning and then changing it up throughout the day. We're gonna go to bed, right? Huh? So we can wake up early. Yeah, we're waking up at like 5.30. Let's so. load up the car too. Hmm? Let's load up the car. 
Or with load this? Yeah, with our fishing gear since we're driving it. Oh, wait, are we driving over to the dock tomorrow morning? I guess so. So we're going to put all our fishing stuff into the car so that we'll wake up in the morning. We can just drive over to where we're going to be going and walking over there. Because the best place that we've found is over that way. And we don't want to walk all the way there from here. That's That'd suck. And we're going to hit the hay so we can wake up bright and early and catch some bass for you guys to see. So we'll see you guys early in the morning tomorrow. Meow. Good morning, Adam. Obviously, it's almost 6 o'clock in the morning. We're about to head down to the water to go fishing. It's really hard to see, but it's prime time to start fishing right before the sun comes up. Right, Adam? Oh, yeah. Yep, we're going to head down. Park near the dock, walk down to the dock, and then work our way down to our main spot that we always fish at. We're gonna see if we can get anything. Last time I only got like a tiny little sniff. So we'll see how it goes. You guys won't be able to see anything, but you'll for sure hear if we get one. Got him? Get him in, get him in, get him in. Yes! There you go. Okay, it is evident that it is not my year for fishing down here. Already. I was casting all over the place over here. <sighs> Can we go home? <laughs> Just kidding. I wasn't recording, guys, but look. That might not even be a bass. Did you let it sit there? I legit was stopping just for a second to do something. What is? It's a bass. Wait, no, it's a green sunfish. No way. You just got a green sunfish on a whopper plopper, dude. I got a green sunfish, guys, on a whopper plopper. Oh, oh, oh. It would be huh. crazy if you had a picture of that. Oh, wait, I, yeah, you've got It's picture. fine. <laughs> That's so crazy. Bye, buddy. I be smarter. Why'd you go under this rock right here, buddy? I'm gonna give top water a break and throw out the freaking crankbait. Don't judge me, Adam. Good. I might be judging myself. But last time this thing worked so well. Well, now that you said that, I'm gonna get snagged. Yep, just so you know. I'm snagged, no! I got it out. <laughs> I'm the king of getting things on snag. Do you know this? The emperor. <laughs> the emperor of getting snags out. Huh? Supreme Chancellor. <laughs>